Hello and good evening, you, you lovely people, you, you lovely people who, who like to watch boring videos because you feel compelled to watch them because you have nothing else better to do in your lives than to watch a boring rambling video done by me. Um, I'm just going to be doing a bit of farming today. I was kind of conscious of the fact that I hadn't recorded or uploaded anything in a while, possibly a month or so, maybe even more. I, I don't know, quite frankly, don't care. Um, I'm not going to have my YouTube dictated to me by, by uh, you know, members of the public. I'll just do what I want when I want to. But I kind of thought, well, do you know what? I haven't recorded anything for a while. I want to kind of keep the process of doing it all fresh in my mind as I'm slowly, slowly sort of deteriorating um, mind-wise. My memory is not as good. What will be fast approaching the age of 44 uh, next month? So I've not been doing too much other than farming recently and i just thought well why not let's put a video on of me doing some farming let's just record for about half hour 40 minutes an hour four hours maybe two and a half days something to do isn't it um but i've just realized i'm not playing the pre-sequel it's body lands too that's what i'm going to be doing the farming on uh so let's let's launch the game and away we go. So yeah, this isn't going to be like a tutorial on how to do the farming and how to achieve certain uh, glitches. There's already videos out there that might show you um, a better way of doing things, a faster way of doing things. Um, but this is what I'm kind of doing at the moment. I've played the game through twice now. Um kind of got a little bit of the gist of the, of the story to be perfectly honest i haven't really paid that much attention um i've just been kind of getting on with it really and uh, you know especially when you play with with other people as well you you tend to concentrate on you know the banter sorry i burped there pardon me uh the banter and the conversations at hand Do -do 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 -do. right Everything's offline, as I always do when I'm recording, unless it's destiny or something that's, you know, basically hand hand up behind your back, forcing you to be online, whereby I'd simply turn off notifications so you don't get those things popping up in the screen with people's usernames and stuff. I'm not giving you free advertising for your username. You can go and fuck off. Anyway, what I've decided to do is spin around and look at her ass. Look at her ass wiggling, wiggling, tempting, tempting me. In, no, I, I'm not going to do any bad things. Right. Um, I am farming the lost treasure tomb or something. I can't quite remember what it's called, so I'll just get on with it. Because it, uh, it's after you defeat the Leviathan, which you get in the pirate DLC. Uh, there's a couple of boxes, a couple of fruit machines, or vending machines rather. Not fruit machines. I am completely addicted to those though. That's probably why I said it. But those are vending machines which you can use to get money. I don't need money. I think I'm up to the maximum. If I'm not, I'm not far from it and it won't take me long to get it anyway. Um, I've just completed the DLC. I've killed the Leviathan. This is on um, Ultimate Vault Hunter, is it? Uh, UVH, yeah, Ultimate Vault Hunter, the hardest setting, I believe you can put it on to. Um, my character is the max, level, level 72. Uh, it's the max I could get it anyway, <coughs> without venturing into yet another DLC. Uh, some sort of digital playground or something, I think it's called. It's going to show you this, it's going to show you the Leviathan, but it's actually going to show the Leviathan dying uh yeah there you go and because i haven't turned in the the bounty for it now I, I don't know if turning in the bounty will mean that i would have to refight and redestroy this monster uh if it does i'm probably not going to hand it in because the xp i'd get for it isn't going to be anything i 
can do anything with anyway. It's 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 done. All my XP is now wasted in the game, unless of course I go into this digital arena, um, some sort of digital adventure playground uh, where you go into. I think it's overpowered mode, OP, like OP one, OP two, all the way up to OP eight. That's. I mean, I might be wrong. I'm happy to be corrected, but that's what I believe is what happens. So. You kill this monster. Alright, bad guy there. There's his tongue sticking out. Uh, you came in through... Where is it? Is it this door here? Yeah. The exit for the level... If you walk, if you jump onto... It's arm, fin, claw... I don't really know what it's called. You jump onto there and then you work your way up. You get up to here. Now that's where the secret chamber is in there. Which when you approach it, when you finish it for the first time, you it looks does look like a somebody's anus. Um, not anybody I'm going to name. I just mean in general, somebody's anus. Although an eyeball, now it looks like. It's an eyeball anus. An eye anus. An anus. Perhaps. Who knows. So that's where the secret chamber is in there. So you get to go in there. And you get to open up loads of chests, whatnot, get loads of whoop whoop loot. Then you exit the level that way. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do, now there are better videos out there to cover what I'm about to do, perhaps in greater detail. I'm not going to hold your hand on this one. You can, you know, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've got the internet to go and do it your fucking self. But basically, I can't give you an exact walkthrough on how to do this because there really isn't one. It's a bit of poke and hope. Now then, there is something known as the curse of the video maker, whereby when you want to record yourself doing something, um, it won't work. It won't happen. And you'll look a bit of a tit. I don't care about looking a bit of a tit. Um, so here goes. But essentially, you walk up this way. You come to what I believe... Is is it an eye? One of the eyes that you destroy? Now, you'll walk up. You won't be able to walk any further. Um, if you push the controller, the uh, the left hand analog stick, right and left, you can go right and left, but you can't go forward. So basically what you need to do is you need to go forward and left until you can't go any further. So you've got your, your sort of your left analog stick as far as it will go, sort of left and forward, and then you kind of point the roundabout by here, and then you jump. Now then, I've come up and I've run up and I've done this, and I've executed it first time a couple of times. Other times I've been here for a good three or four minutes. So, well, let's, let's see. But basically, you've got to kind of jump up and down on the spot. Uh, it kind of happened there. I don't know if you noticed it. It was a bit of a bit of a slowdown on on me coming back down again now I've seen videos of this people doing this and then they jump and they turn in the air and they jump and they do this and that I've I've had the best results by basically just shutting up and getting on with it and kind of there we go right then that's it you've got to kind of push the stick towards the left and forward and you get catapulted up into the air. Now then, this is where the, it gets a little bit tricky. But if you execute it properly, and if you're listening, are you listening now, children? If you're listening, I should be able to show you how to get it done. Right now, look at those rocks over there. And look at these two kind of rock edges. There's a purple one there. And it's like a, it's more of a pinky one there. You've got them too, right? So if you aim your crosshairs in the middle... I tend to, you just jump on the spot and you will gradually go up and up. Now I haven't moved the crosshairs for the sole reason that you can see that I am generally, uh, genuinely going up and up, up and up. You just keep pressing jump. Eventually, when you jump as high as you can go, it will just jump in the air and come back down. There, that, it just happened then, right? So I'll do it again. You jump and you come back down. You can see the crosshair is at the same spot on the video. I'm going to leave it up there for a few seconds more. Jump again. There you go. Right. Now, aim for between these 
two uh, spots that I shot earlier. That one, pop, and that one. So in the crosshair towards there and just sprint forward. Go forward and forward and forward and forward and forward until those two spots are underneath your sort of uh, your level and your XP bar, which is empty because I can't go any further. Now you need to turn to the right. And where is it? Where am I looking at? There, right. <coughs> you can see some sort of dark rocks where the crosshair is at the moment. You can see some sort of light rocks. That's where the wall is. So you, what you need to do is to try and run where the crosshair is now. Sprint towards there so that as you fall in, because you will fall off the invisible sort of platform or wall, whatever it is you're on. Actually, all right, to go into details, I think it's the hitboxes. Possibly the hitboxes or the boundary markers or something for the level. But anyway, if you sprint towards that way, when you fall, like I'm doing now, you should land on the rocks. Now you need to... You can see there's a wall there, kind of pinkish, purplish. Right, I'm going to fire at it a couple of times. Sprint towards that and you should go through the wall. Right, as you've gone through the wall, you need now to look at this. I'm going to move the crosshairs down. Just so you can see at the top of the video, you'll see like a, a sort of pyramid point, which I'm going to slowly move the crosshair up to there. Literally just sprint towards that. And that's it. If done correctly and just keep going forward and keep going forward and keep going forward, you will fall down. You're back inside. Now, it's the chamber of lost treasure. That's what I couldn't remember what it was called. There's the anus eyeball thing there. So you've come back through this door now by glitching through the wall up above. Now then, you've got a pyramid um, of is it raw iridium and stone. On top of there, you've got a series of uh, pirate chests, which, you, which we are about to loot. Uh, but just to let you know, if you haven't done this already, there's a small, it, it's like a hidden room, but it's not really that hidden. I mean, if you're just going to run to straight to the top of the pyramid and open the boxes, you probably would have missed this. But if you come along the path, now as you, you've come out of the anus eye over there somewhere, all right, you come along the path, you come along and then you get to the bridge on your left, which takes you up to the top. You can see up there, chests. You carry on along the path to these kind of weird statue type things, stone statue things. Then you come to this little broken path by here and down there, pop, pop, pop. That's the sort of sort of secret room. So there's an additional chest to be got in here. Now, I don't think that there's anything special about this chest with regards to the drop rate of legendary items, etc., etc. But it's an extra chest, and I think the first time you open it, you get like a badass rank or something I, I, for opening up hidden pirates' chests. So I can't remember, it was done a while ago now. So you open it up, pop, right, there you go, blue items. Not really that interesting nice. to me, to be honest. I'm here for the exotics and the purple rares. Um, so I'm going to slowly make my way back up to the top of this uh, pyramid thing now. So this way, oh, have I gone the wrong way now? Oh, piss, I fell off. Right. Try again. Up there. Across here. Fucking fell off again. Right. I'll just go this way. I can't be bothered. Right. Um, that's pretty...
pretty much it. We're in the room now, and it's a case of if anybody's done any farming, if by any chance you've been playing some Destiny, or if you watched Destiny videos, don't even own the game, uh, you might be aware of what farming is. It's basically it's repeating something over and over, trying to increase the chance of getting a good a good sort of reward. Um, now, I've mentioned Destiny, as it seems to be played by quite a number of people at this moment. Oh, shit, I'm come the wrong way, haven't I? Yeah, this way. Is it this way? Oh, I've done something wrong here. Balls. Balls to video recording. Um, oh, is it this one? Ah, oh, might be this one. Um, yeah, right, with regards to to destiny this is borderlands 2 not destiny as you know they've got a different way of describing their um the values of the weapons and drops that you get you get legendary items which if you are gonna sort of look at a comparison to destiny in destiny it would be called an exotic item but in Borderlands, it's called Legendary. And the rest of the other ones are called Rare Items. Now, the Rare Items have got various degrees of rarity, I guess. Um, ranging from, I think it's... It goes in ascending order. It goes white, green, blue, purple. Something like that. White, green, poo. White, green, poo. No, not white, green, poo. White, green, poo blue purple then you get orange which is classed as the legendary sort of item now that's what we're kind of farming for today now then if you are sort of uh, mentally deranged and you feel the need that to do something in a particular way like clockwise anti-clockwise maybe you don't want to summon up satan by doing it anti-clockwise so let's do this in a clockwise motion shall we and i'll open up the pirate chests first i'll just click on the button as we go around they will all open up and by the time i get back to the start they will all be open and you can have a look then because when they drop these items when these items pop up you get a line up in the air to show you the color and the rarity rarity of the item wow. these are purple ones that's a, a oh what they call it fire damage sorry that's a fire damage uh, sniper that's a fire damage um something else um smg these are all blue there's a couple of mod classes and things like that. Pistols with a purple one there. They're all blue. A couple of blue ones and a purple one. A purple grenade. And these are um, relics which also help things like uh, increasing your pistol damage and nice. blah, blah, blah. Because you can equip, if I bring it up, you can equip these. you got you got four slots for guns. At the moment, I've got an apt good touch off Moxie. I've got a Gardunk Ganukum. Don't know if I've said that right or wrong. That's only a level 63. If I could get a new one, that would be better than that one. That's fine, because I can get rid of that one then. Double Penetrating Unkempt Harold. So that's level 50. I don't think you get that from random drops. I think you can only get that by farming a particular, a particular boss. I might be wrong. Burning Infinity, the one with the the infinite ammo you've got a shield which helps uh you know replenish your health quicker and whatnot you've got a class mod that particular one i've got there is a smg gun damage 124 percent more damage i've got a uh an elemental relic a fire damage one for plus 31 percent and a rubberized fire leech grenade equipped now i've got those you basically got eight items you can equip four at the bottom here and then four guns at the top then you've got a backpack where you can collect all these items now this one has got i noticed this and i got this from one of these chests it's called gentleman's storm it's a sniper rifle and it just says in red the red right in tut tut looks like rain 
I don't know what really what that means. It seems as if you get that kind of thing from a boss. If it's got red right in, it means it comes from a boss. But this has got like a light blue color to it. I don't, I don't, I'm quite worked what worked out what that is yet. I haven't done any googling or anything like that. And yes, I've got the fucking internet. And yes, I could do it myself, right? But for now, I haven't quite worked out what that one is because I haven't, I haven't sort of. It was only this morning I think I got it. Um, I've got these other orange ranked items. So they got uh, another sniper rifle there. You got other guns. Then you got a series of purples. Now these purples I got um, from farming the snowman, which is another DLC. Because I wanted to finish this DLC off, and I knew that this DLC, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played it yet, but this DLC has got a mixture of human beings and a mixture, mixture of robots. And the robots, you've got a better chance of defeating if you use corrosive guns, which have got the green emblem by there, like the biohazard sort of thing. And so I equipped a couple of those guns. Uh, so I got a load of purples, which I've yet to sort out to see what I want to get rid of. Uh, I've got some class mods. Now that one there has got a cooldown rating. It's got gun damage. If you notice here, the, this is an identical class mod. In, in from what I can see every way, apart from the cooldown rate and the gun damage is greater on the one above. So I'll favorite that one. And this one I will mark with an X. So that when I get a chance of going to um, a machine, I will sell it for whatever it's going to cost. Is 143,000? Because this is a level 72, and that one's a level 57. Um, there's another one there. Oh, I used that for doing the robots because it helped me with the, with the corroded damage and what have you. There's a couple of grenades I've got from farming. These will be, because they're, they're not level, this one's level 72, that one's not. These will probably be from when I was farming the snowman. Uh, I got two of the sham uh, ones. One I got from farming the snowman, the other one I got from this farming these chests here. I got the bee, which I had from, I think, farming the snowman on a lower level, level 59. That was a while ago. Anyway, um... That's the inside boxes, and now it's just a case of opening up the ones that are on the outside. Um, you can be careful if you want, because some of the smaller boxes, you can see that some of them are smaller than the others. You've got double boxes and single boxes. The single boxes have got, ah, it's got a better chance of, um, no, sorry, not a better chance. It's got a chance of when you open up a single box of money spewing out everywhere. So if you need cash, you might want to stand a bit closer to it and let them open up in front of you um, so that you catch all the money and it doesn't tumble down anywhere and you know, it doesn't get lost. But for now, they've all opened up and they are, like I said, they've got, they've got blue, purple, green. None of them really interest me at the moment. In fact, I've only got one storage space left. I've got 38 out of 39 spaces in my backpack used up don't quite understand the difference between these colors there's like a purple and then there's, a, there's like a pink but as there's no red right in i don't think it's anything special i think it's just a different color based upon maybe i don't know the manufacturer of the gun that's a jacobs that's a bandit i don't know um if you care about that kind of stuff enough well, well done you um might be worth me having a look i might take this just just to show you if i take this all right pick up the gun now my backpack should be full now it should say there you can see it just in the bottom just underneath uh just to the the right it says backpack 39 of 39 i don't know if i can move her out of the way Ah, I can rotate her around. You can see it now. Backpack 39, 39. My backpack is essentially full. I can't carry any more. But there's nothing here that I actually want to pick up. There's no uh, orange items, which is what I'm looking for. Um, oh, also, it's a good it's a good thing for uh, iridium if you want it or need iridium. 
I don't need any iridium. I'm up to 500. And there's my money at the bottom. 94,630,584. Basically, we're five, four and a bit more million. And I can't carry anything else. That's essentially that's essentially it i have looked around i have sort of had a look in and around these areas over here and, and what not see Whoa. if there are any other hidden chests i couldn't see any myself that's it um so that's the schooling side of it over and done with uh save and quit uh and on to the farming grind i'm just going to do everything again um <clears throat> continue and i should start off again at the leviathan's lair right in front of the machines and the boxes i'm not fighting anything i don't need to pick up ammo i don't need to do any of that uh, what i might do is let's just look at this for now let's have a look to see now i've got all right that's got a chance to slag i've got that weapon so i'll favorite that one so I don't get rid of it. But I did pick up a sniper. Just There we are. Right. This is what I mean. I've got a sniper there with a chance to shock. That's an electric, oot, an, an electric weapon. And I've got another one here. So it's a case of which one do I get rid of. There's a 6.5 weapon zoom. There's a 6.6 .6 weapon zoom. This one does more damage this do you know what i mean it's like well does it really does it really matter um not really no it doesn't really matter that much so what i'll do i'll just sell that one um i try to have at least one of each type of weapon so because I, I don't know what i'm going to encounter if i've if i'm playing something i've not played before uh, so there you go. I got two snipers there that both do fire damage. Um, that one's got fifty percent more melee damage. Melee, melee, melee damage. That one's got a better zoom. So what I'll do then? Oh no, it doesn't do as much damage. That one doesn't. Oh ah, yeah, right. So I'll sell that one. Fuck that. Uh, I'll favorite that one. That is, I got that from killing, well, I won't spoil anything. I got that from killing something. It's just a pistol. I got that from finding a message in a bottle. Um, but it still doesn't leave a lot of room for picking stuff up. But as it happens, I'm not really picking up anything um, uh, other than legendaries, unless you get something else with a blue color I'm un unaware of. Um so at the moment i've got a splash damage um shotgun type thing so what i'll do as i've got 37 where am i going 37 of 39 slots available the chances of me having two legendaries which is what i'm farming for are pretty slim although it has happened um, if push comes to shove, if I get a chance of picking something up, I'll just chuck something out. I'll get rid of something. Uh, now, usually what I would do is I would get rid of the the weapon that would cost the less. Uh, cost the least, sorry, not cost the less. Um, a weapon that would cost the least. Uh, the one that isn't valued very much because I figure that if it's not valued very much, it can't be that good. That's my way of looking at it. So I'd get rid of that. Um, I, as I don't need money at the moment, I'm fine with that. But what you can do, I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> I haven't felt the need to do it yet. But I could bring in, by the power of, not Grayskull, but I could bring in by the power of a second controller bring another player into the game a player of mine into the game and unload most of the money onto that person uh unload a load of the guns a load of the shields anything duplicate you know blah blah blah. anything i want or i could just farm iridium 
bring them into the game i could farm it they would get the iridium so that, you know the iridium isn't being lost because i can't really spend it on anything because i've upgraded everything i possibly can with my backpack uh here we are again at the spot where you do the the, the double jump and you oh, are fucking hell there we are well look at that that happened a lot quicker than i was expecting it to and i'm glad it was recording because uh yeah sometimes it's hard to convince people that things happen oh i fucking fell off look at that spoke too soon right then see if i can get back out yeah sometimes it is hard to convince people without actual fucking proof that uh that things do happen now then if this happens quit save and quit that way then you don't get uh regenerated as it does in the game and because i've got so much money they will take millions off me to regenerate uh essentially uh just start again but i bet you this time now i won't get up there so quick but then again i did fucking fall so i don't know what happened there but like i said curse of the video maker anyway back down now down in here is where you would have a battle with something and once you finish that battle <clears throat> it will drop an item but it does i don't know if it regenerates because i haven't handed in the the bounty yet and i'm probably not going to hand it in because like i said the xp won't do anything for me and i'll get a gun i probably don't want some of the things i'm after i'm after some of the legendary items i've picked up earlier on in the game at a lower level but at the level i'm at now level 72 then i'll finish ultimate vault hunter and all the dlc because it's now at a level that i mean i'm quite enjoying the toughness of it and how long it takes me doing this solo and i've got no real need of having weapons that are about 20 levels below me uh i've got this this gun here i can't remember what it's called i keep thinking of the word ukulele but i don't think it is um what's it called infinity repeater or something burning infinity it's the double penetrating unkempt harold that's why i kept thinking of ukulele i don't know why um right forward can't go anymore left it's kind of if i push if i push exactly left it kind of pushes me backwards so you need to kind of go diagonally forward and left and then just keep jumping maybe push a bit further in i don't know but there's no i mean i've yet to see a, a surefire way of doing it that's that's guaranteed all your money back you know that kind of thing i've i've like i said i've seen people who turn a turn in the air when they do it and they, they jump and then they move like this i've yet to find a way if i did i'd i'd probably tell you because i'm not that selfish fucking hell right but sometimes it's worth you just kind of moving and coming back and trying again and right come on there we go right there we are <clears throat> like i said r line up with where you're going to need to sprint which is there and just double jump well double jump not double jump just just keep tapping the jump button as you will see by the crosshair you keep going up and up and up you can see in the top left hand corner the sunlight coming over the top of the rocks i am achieving great heights and around about by here there we are just as i said it that's as high as you can go now then run towards as i said earlier there i don't know why people sprint i don't know if it makes a difference if you walk maybe you fall off or something right you've got to turn to the right and then you're aiming for down there so you need to kind of sprint this way so that when you fall there we are the the cliff faces on your left like i said earlier just sprint towards this by here take a little bit of a left turn to the pyramid sprint that way i call it the pyramid it's just a triangular shaped rock keep going forward 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 and the chamber of lost treasure is yours don't forget i find it easier to go for the the under the underground 
one first you might find it easier to do the top first and then jump down every time i've done that i keep forgetting which side of the pyramid it's on and what have you so you just kind of drop down here get this one blues not even going to bother looking at them don't want them right how did we do it last time children was it this way it was this way wasn't it no tits balls bastard fannies all right we'll just go back over here then which means i could have just run this way in the first place and just climb up the other side up here up there up here again Ooh, tits tits balls and fannies come on where am i going and up here right all right what's going on what's going on oh i can't i can never remember like i said i told you my, my memory's going i'm getting old now all of 44 oh titmongers fucking hell right jump come on oh can you not you can't jump off oh, for fuck's sake you can't go into the wooden fucking bridge supports what a stupid game i'm not playing this anymore right up here up this one all ah, right okay we'll just go up this and we'll jump onto the bridge right now then i'm hoping just for the sake of actually proving up ah, right sorry my fault could have gone this way you you do actually get the legendary items in the boxes i'm hoping that we do get an orange one so what i'll do now is we'll we'll do this i'll carry on and on and on and this video will last as long as it takes for me to get a legendary item from the boxes right let's do it clockwise because we don't want to summon satan but yeah, I mean, seriously, now, if you if you do feel that, you know, it takes over your life and you've only got to do certain things in a certain way, open up certain boxes by running in a certain fucking direction. And what hurt me then? Something fucking hurt me. Something caused me damage. What was that? I wonder if it was a box. Um, I think I might have already noticed now an orange item. Although I do sometimes get... I do, some, I do sometimes mistake money for for being orange. No, it's an orange item. Rolling Thunder. Um, believe I've already got one of these. So what I'll do, I will pick it up, and I will see if it compares to how it compares to the one I've already got. Now then, here's an example of what I said earlier. If you open up the smaller boxes sometimes they do explode with money and it just flies through the air um <clears throat> just go around now and just look to see if there's anything that you that want nothing really that i want you like i said i'm only after the orange items for the moment nice i can come and get i mean these these kind of purple rare items are essentially to a penny at the moment to me i don't really care so much because i'm only doing it for the farming i only did the dlc so i could get this far i'm not really planning on doing all the other dlc until i've done enough farming now to keep me happy with regards to what guns are i'm happy with and what i'm not happy with let's have a quick look <clears throat> i do believe i picked up a rolling thunder didn't i so if i come back down backpack right then because some of them have the same name but they have the different graphic for what they look like that's the rolling thunder there and i'm sure there was another rolling thunder down here rolling thunder now then one four one three nine five yes i can read that's got eight eight hundred two thousand times eight and that's 141 times 9. The fuse time is 0 0.06. That's got no fuse time whatsoever, which means it's probably going to explode instantly. Um, 
blast radius of 500 that's got a blast radius of 500 so what do i what do i do um i, I don't know which one of these is probably going to be best um again like i said it comes down to value now that one's worth 64,400 this one is worth 314,731 i'll keep that one even though i'll probably never even use it i'll mark that one for selling let me just make sure i haven't got any other rolling thunders more than one so i got two rolling thunders i'll keep the one that's worth the most amount of money like i said i probably won't even use it in the game sometimes it happens that way um more iridium i can't use um uh just having a quick look around make sure there's not there's no colors that i haven't sort of spotted they're all the blues they haven't got like a funny color blue like that gun i picked up earlier they all seem to be the same type of stuff uh rinse and repeat so there you go 40 minutes into the video and i get my first uh legendary item which was a grenade i kind of already had continue do you know what i think we'll carry on to about the hour mark and we'll see what we can come up with in the space of an hour but don't forget this is a ramble it's not like a tutorial or anything like that so i could have done it a lot quicker that's the one i wanted to get rid of so i'll sell that one i've now got more space in my backpack well one for one one for one so i think it should in theory still be 37 um of 39 used but i can probably sell the legendaries and just farm this for about five minutes and get something back that's either better or equally the same possibly worse i probably won't even know i'm just looking for the corrosive damage or the electrifying damage i don't really know which one's best I don't know what the electrifying or the electrocution. Maybe the electrocution one is better on robots. Do you know what? I don't know. I haven't really done the homework. I'm looked into it. I seem to be getting by okay in the game, and that's fine by me. Like I said, it's fine for farming. Oh yeah, by the way, you were inside the Leviathan if you haven't already worked out the fact that he's spewing you up. Uh you get eaten by him. Spoilers! Um in the game, and you have to fight your way out and then kill him because he's a bastard so so yeah right on with the farming right then what do i ramble about today anything going on in the world um yes the conservatives are back in for all those who give a shit about politics and what have you sorry can i just point out yes the conservatives are back in that was not um excitement come on come on come on you motherfucker come on let's go oh this is a decidedly fucking slow version isn't it what the fuck what the fuck was that oh i could have been there forever um i'm not going to get too politically involved but um me saying the word yes and the conservatives are back in was not me celebrating the fact that the conservatives are back in i'll put it i'll put it uh i'll put it that way i'm not um i'm not best pleased that they're back in really but i would like to stress uh before anybody makes any oh piss balls bastards shit and tits all right i fell back down again i don't know what happened there um i would like to stress though should anybody make any wrong assumptions um i did vote and no um I didn't vote for you, Kip, because I'm not a pathetic, low-life, football hooligan, racist cunt. There you go. Um, but yeah, anyway, who gives a shit about politics? I kind of don't. Yesterday, I'm not going to start singing the Beatles song, but yesterday they announced yet another yet another assassin's creed game uh they seem it's they're doing them yearly now they're not even giving you a chance to sort of fully enjoy playing their last game amongst others it's almost as if they want to cram games down your throat now so that you play one by the time you've 
finished one and you're enjoying finishing another one then you know that that's it another one comes along and it's like assassin's creed over and over same as call of fucking duty over and over um some games some of my favorite games don't come out on a yearly basis um tomb raider when it first came out i think it came out on a yearly basis fine uh it doesn't anymore which i think it is a good thing because um you got a chance to explore other games then you know destiny's taking up a lot of my time i'm quite enjoying that i don't feel inclined to go out and buy each individual brand new fucking game on day of release you know just to follow trends and just to be in with the fucking in crowd um no sorry i got better things i'd rather spend my money on um like pizzas and whoa here we fucking go right um yeah like pizzas and crisps and pop and sweets stuff like that no no i'm not gonna I, I do buy games on day of release usually if i you know i have a lot of good faith in them and quite often i'm disappointed um alien isolation i'm looking in your fucking direction but i bought bloodborne was that day of release I can't remember if I bought that day of release, but I bought it really early on and thoroughly enjoyed the game, but I've put it down for a while now because I want to break from it. I had a bit of an intensive weekend on the game and didn't really get as far as uh, I wanted to in the game. It's a bit fucking rock solid, but I was enjoying it nonetheless. Uh, same old, same old. Go forward, drop down onto these rocks, run towards here, go towards the left, towards the pointy rock keep going forward and down we go yep yet another assassin's creed yet another call of duty um i don't really know what else to say with regards to those two um but yes destiny's expansion pack is coming out next week so no doubt i'll be giving that a bit of a look at Ooh, pirate booty 225 of 250 chests um sometimes these are worth looking at i gotta be honest not the guns but these relics sometimes the higher up you get the higher ranked you get um even the blue ones might be better than a purple one that you might have got five or six ranks below you so those those are worth uh, sort of keeping in mind um looking at oh tit balls fuck's going on by here all right i wonder if there's a quicker way this way is there but no this is a good farming area i quite liked farming the the snowman now the snowman is a good a good farming spot uh if you need xp because you have to kill the snowman each and every fucking time uh he drops a couple of items i don't know if he's ever dropped anything legendary but then once you've killed him uh, a train arrives in the in the town oh shit i've just realized spoilers um but yeah a train arrives in the town bringing presents because it's a christmas themed dlc you are in fact killing a snowman that should have kind of give it away um but yeah killing the snowman over and over oh for fuck's sake what on earth is going on here oh what a st i fucking honest to god why the fuck can't i go through there what what the fuck is wrong with this game this is it's fucking broken i'm gonna smash it to bits now i've had enough um yeah so you gotta wait for this train to arrive which brings goodies uh i found that i finished this dlc on the the level below which is true vault hunter you've got normal mode then you've got true vault hunter then you've got ultimate vault hunter now i finished it on true vault hunter which was fun it was enjoyable but when you realize that the weapons and stuff that you get from it and you know the the shields and all that you slowly and quickly out use them really because they're ranked below you then it's worth going through the, the slog of getting it done 
I say slog. It wasn't so much of a slog. It didn't take that long to do, i got to be honest. But to do the DLC on Ultimate Vault Hunter, when you take into consideration that without Ultimate Vault Hunter, the enemy's level doesn't cap. It just goes up the same way as your level goes up. So if you're level 59, all your enemies are level 59. If you're level 48, if you're level 64. Um, some, like with the snowman, what I found is, and it might be with something... Something blew me up again. I think maybe one of these chests is booby trapped, perhaps, because you do get that in the game. You'll have a chest, and because uh, I'm not watching them as I'm opening them, a grenade is popping out and blasting me in the back. Um, so, quick look round. I can't see anything orange. Whoa. Uh, there's a couple of purpley things, blues. Nothing seems to be standing out with regards to the blues and the purples and the oh hang on this is the one this is the million no it's not um that's it purple pistols blue relicy things um not not a legendary in sight i did get quite a few i have got quite a few legendaries from from doing this in fact, if you look at the list of the stuff I've got, anything that says level 72 is chances are it's come from this or maybe the snowman. But this gentleman storm definitely came from the chests. I know that much. Uh, I do I do post pictures sometimes up on my Twitter account whenever I find something so that you can see in the background where I was farming it and where it came from and stuff like that because some people like to see that kind of thing um i've never seen a legendary relic though i don't even know they, if they exist or not class mods oh shit yeah i should assault that one give me an extra spot not that i need it um class mod 72 that was 57 definitely didn't get it with this one i'm sure i got that with a with the snowman on a lower level 72 72 69 wouldn't have had it on this one hey <laughs> 69 dude not that one that's 71. That would have been a different one. The Sham. Two versions of the Sham, actually. From. So if that's got. See, it's it's looking at the differences. See, one's got 81 absorb chance. And the reason why I'm flicking between them is because they, they both cost the same. 352,499 if you go between them it's not gonna it doesn't matter which one i sell i'm not gonna get any more money for either one but it's working out which one's got the best it's got absorb chance of 81 uh but the recharge rate is higher on that one and the recharge delay is lower on that one higher on that one um absorb chance but you know what because that's 79 and that one's 81 that's how i'll mark them up and i'll get rid of those two next to my next to my uh well i'll do it now because there's nothing i want here um i'll get rid of those two giving me freeing me up two more slots and do you know what i might just uh i might just crack on with this of an evening uh watch a couple of tv shows watch a couple of films on my laptop and just do a bit of farming. Who are I? Be fucking tractor driver. Now then, I was gonna sell. I haven't even marked that one up as a favourite. Oh, I'll look at it another time. Uh, sell that one. Uh, what was the other one? Ah, oh, it was the sham, was wasn't it? Uh, sell that one backpack 35 of 39 so for this for this one now this is going to this is going to be the one this is the, this is going to be the one now where i get um four legendary items in one go um and then everyone will go yay even um even the people who don't play the game you know i mean i i you know i'm aware that i don't get a lot of followers and stuff like that 
on YouTube, but I'm not looking for that. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not foolish enough to believe that I can build a career, right? Career, in its broadest terms, as being a YouTuber, right? I've seen people try to do this and fail, um, and I just shake my head as to why they thought they could do it in the first place anyway. But, you know, most of the current YouTubers are probably people who write for um, <clears throat> websites, magazines, and that kind of thing. And I've been doing it for years before it became cool. You know, hipsters, I suppose. But, yeah. But, you know, for those who are watching it, it might be interesting, even if you don't play the game, you know, if you, if you just got got nothing else nothing else to sort of do other than just you know kind of watch stuff on youtube and you're, you're at home uh you're on your own i don't know maybe maybe you live with your mum um don't don't have any friends and and you 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 probably smell um so yeah so even including you Right, okay, well, this is a slow elevator journey today. <laughs> uh, I've never done this. I've, I'm glad this is captured on video. This is the first time I've had to do, like, a slow jump kind of thing from the bottom upwards. Um, so this is going to take a while, but I got it to work. Unless I get all the way to the top and I fall down again. But I shouldn't do. Let's... It's around about this, about, about by here, isn't it? When the, yeah, that's when it starts to fail. So let's sprint to between those two purpley things until they go beneath your screen. Then you look over there and you've got the rocks on your left hand side that when you run to, they will fall down your left hand side and you will land there. You sprint through here, take a left and you run towards the um the the triangle triangular rock drop down and do, do, do. again this is you know you can see, whenever somebody says farming or whatever you can kind of you can understand what it means now you just do the same thing over and over and over reaping rewards as it were and oh jumped a bit too far and in we go. This is the one. This is the chest with four items. Four legendary items in it. Two blues, right? Okay, not that one then. Not that one. But don't be too disheartened. Don't be too disheartened. Because one of the chests at the top is going to have four legendary items in it. Four. I guarantee it. Or your money back. Um, in fact, no, there are no guarantees. The only guarantee is that one day... You will die. I, you know, not at my hands. I, I'm not threatening you. I'm not. Uh, I'm not fucking Liam Neeson or anything like that. I'm. I'm just saying. You know. I'm just saying. It. It happens. That's your. That's your one guarantee in life. Um. Yeah. There you go. Right then. No. Okay, don't want to go up that way then. Find him and go that way anyway. That way smells much like my uh, my viewer fan base, really. Uh, you know, sitting on their own, probably in the dark. Mum's making them tea or something, perhaps. Or perhaps they live on their own. Perhaps they live on their own. But um, yeah, they probably smell. Probably smell. Probably, probably had the nickname in school of Smelly. Some, probably somebody called them Smelly Welly, Smelly Welly Jelly Belly, or something like that. You know, highly imaginative. Um, I probably would have. Let's be honest, because um, because you smell right. I've just spotted an orange. Well, not a fucking orange. Not the fruit. Orange. Um, Royal Deliverance. Kiki got a shotgun. Okay. Kiki got a shotgun. Well, well. All right, then. Pick that up. Right, so we got one orange. Uh, let me just make sure there's no others. 
and it's bomb around now clockwise and that one 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 challenge complete I'm not sure which one that was it popped up on the screen but I wasn't actually looking um, and that one whoa okay there's one that just produced wow. a lot of money over here like I said cha-ching right there let's go around oh here's the one here's the one four legendary nope three blues and a green uh, purple and a green two blues whites whites are just ammo you know I, I don't need them I'm not battling against anybody at the that moment uh more of these uh weapons but like i said i can pick these up anytime to a penny i'm not going to start collecting them now i'm writing them down inside exercise books wow. which which um which weapon I've, I've got is better than this one is better than that one that's the kind of thing that um you know those those people do is it that the train spotters the uh wow hang on stone the crows explosive damage plus 34 i will take that one and the reason why i will take that one ladies and gentlemen is because i believe i can fly no i believe i've got an explosive damage one of 31 so that's 34 and there's going to be an explosive damage oh there isn't ah do you know why because i got it equipped fire damage no balls sorry i made a bit of a cock up there fire damage i did have ex explosive damage because i was when i was dealing with the snowman i think first of all it was i was using explosive all explosive weapons uh explosive damage plus 34 i think i've got rid of the explosive damage ones because i wasn't using them anymore but the one i had i might have actually stored them I might I did put some stuff in storage. I might have stored one, but it was definitely 31. I remember I remember that much. And here I am going on about fucking train spotters keeping their little books and their little notes and their little uh, you know, oh well, my gun does this damage and it does that and and uh and I like rich tea biscuits. Who the f and I who the fuck likes rich tea biscuits? You've got to be be something fucking wrong with you. There's got to be something wrong with you if you like rich tea biscuits, right? It's the kind of people who like Weetabix, right? Nobody likes Weetabix, right? It should be called Shitabix because it's it's fucking rubbish. It, it's a rubbish food. It's the kind of thing that your mum will buy you so she can spend more money on fags. That's what it is, right? Your mum doesn't love you enough to buy you, you know, a top class, uh, you know, cereal, right? You know, strawberry crunch, yeah, ready break, you know, something like that actually ready break well i don't know maybe but no weetabix if you're an adult and you're eating weetabix seriously please get help right you need help get help if you're an adult eating weetabix you you need help you seriously seriously need help right now then i'm gonna carry on with this video i know it's gone past the hour mark and i did say i would stop around about the hour mark but what i've decided to do now just for you people especially you the person in the dark corner who smells i'm going to do this especially for you now because i'm going to take up most of your evening because you're not doing much else anyway apart from watching fucking star trek box sets um was i going to sell something Almost dead. did i mark something for selling oh hang on I gotta mark that for keeping, haven't I? Um, I'm gonna carry on until I don't get a legendary. Now there, you weren't expecting that, were you? Ooh, get all excited, go and clap your hands, make sure you don't spill your fucking lemon drink on your fucking tank top. Right then. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. I am sprinting, by the way. <laughs> I could seriously be just be walking like this. La 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 la. I'm loving it. Right, sprint. 
So what should we do in the meantime then? What should we talk about whilst I do this then? What should we have karaoke? Do you want to hear me sing? Well, I'm not fucking going to. Leviathan. Or Than. And he's gonna die a horrible death by my hands around my gun. Right. If, incidentally, um, anybody is actually offended by my commentary, um, you know, going on about people who watch my videos and stuff and you know I'm saying that you smell and what have you um <laughs> that, have a fucking bath and you know what have a fucking bath go and have a bath and and write me a fucking and, and think about leaving a comment underneath saying I've had a fucking bath now I don't smell so I don't want to hear about it in the next video which you do in about a month and a half's time yeah yeah, go on. Do that. That'll fucking tell me, won't it? Yeah, that'll tell me. Here we fucking go. Come on. Yay! The thing is, I'm a bit reluctant to as to what's right or wrong with regards to pushing the controller to the left. So sometimes it might be worth you taking a bit longer um, to get up here. Uh, which is fine. It's fine for my viewers, you know. Obviously, they've got to let their alphabet spaghetti cool down that their mum's just fucking made them. And it's over here. And we fall and land on the rocks. I have landed awkwardly. Uh, before and fallen down a gap and I wasn't able to get out. I couldn't work my way out and you have to uh, save and exit do the same process again as if I, you know, died. So you can be cautious of that. Also, when you're running towards the wall, if you run a bit too far, you do fall off the edge again. So it's all a bit of... It's a bit sort of tried and tested. You Basically, you've got to try and... I'm not saying I'm, I've mastered it, but I've got it down to the point where... I can kind of do it more times than I fail now. Come on, come on. No. Fucking no. Right. I, you know, I'm doing this now for, what, is it the fourth or fifth time? I still can't remember which was the quickest way up and around. I can't remember which way was the quickest way up and around. So let's just keep going sort of forward and up, shall we? Was it back this way? I do remember now that you can't get underneath the wooden platforms. Because the game is a bit stupid that way. But it's the stupid level design which is allowing me to get back inside this room more than once. Because once you've done the DLC, unless you do this glitch, you can't get back in. You can't get back into this area. I Well, so I believe... I mean, that's why this glitch exists. Uh, it's not why the glitch exists. The glitch exists because they didn't make the game properly. But videos showing you how to do this glitch exist. And they exist because um, you want... Uh, they want to show you how to get back into the room because you're not really supposed to do it. You're only supposed to be able to blow the bloody doors off. No, you're only supposed to actually get your treasure once. You know, once. Um, but do you know what? Do you know what I'm going to do? Fuck this. Right, calm down now, train spotters. Right, I'm going to go anti clockwise. See if we can summon up Satan. Right? Beelzebub, release me. Release me. Right, I've done it anti clockwise. Right? Made no fucking difference. There's no oranges. Right, let's do these anti clockwise now and summon Satan. Sanctus Miritus. And that's the last one. 
do we have any oranges do we do we know i don't believe we do so is that the end of the video no i tell you why do you know what's bothering me now is the fact that i did it anti-clockwise and maybe that is because i summoned up satan um who's going to kill me in my sleep uh and, and bum me um when i'm dead ah hang on this is the one this is the one watch out look out no now then ah fucking hell oh my god it's one of those light blue ones. Gee, do you know what? Maybe I should have been doing it anti-clockwise. Oh my God, I'm going to have to do it anti-clockwise now. I'm going to have to do this anti-clockwise now in order to get one of these blue weapons. I've got to check these out now. I've got to make sure that all these blues are not... My God, all these years I've been doing it clockwise. Well, years, all right, not fucking years. But all this time I've been doing it clockwise, and you've got to do it anti-clockwise in order to summon up, summon up the the gun of the devil. Well, well, I just I just never knew that. Nice. That is lovely. Yes, that is wow. lovely. That is lovely. Is this another? No, this is the one I took it from. This is the chest I took it from. So it's got one item over there in the corner. Um, <coughs> right. All right, I'm just gonna have to do it again now, and for the sake of I'm going to do it again, <coughs> anti-clockwise. It's going to be an hour and a half's video by the looks of it now. Sorry. Bit of a delay, but my throat was getting dry. And I needed to gulp down a bit of pink grapefruit for all those who want to keep notes and have your little diaries and go Ooh, what's he doing today what's he drinking is he drinking properly it's like the people who contact me and go oh you, your cough's pretty bad isn't it when you you know <clears throat> yeah i might have got a cough that's pretty bad quite a lot of people i know have got a cough that's pretty bad something to do with the sahara desert isn't it it's coming across different countries and filling out throats full of their fucking sand fucking foreign sand coming over here filling our cracks something like that i don't know we're gonna get somebody forming a sand kit or something now get them out send it back send the sand back it's the wrong color or something i i just want to stress i'm not a racist football hooligan thick old cunt at all and don't even like football i think it's for meatheads i'm just saying i'm not a racist not a racist um uh, I would also like to point out I'm not a Satanist as well. I know I keep going on about this anti-clockwise and what have you. And, you know, yes, I openly admit I do happen to quite like the first six Black Sabbath albums, all with Ozzy Osbourne in it. Uh, I've not played them backwards, though. It's kind of difficult to play an MP3 backwards unless you put it into a program and run it backwards. But I've not done that. Um, come on. Come on. Up. Up. Come by. Come by. Up you go. Come on. Up you go, up you go. Jump. Come on, jump. For my love. Come on, jump. Jump. Come on, you fucker. Get up. Get up, you fucking bastards. Here we go. Right. Now then. I fucking fell off. See, when I, when I reached the top, I did notice that I pushed the stick to the left a bit. And it's fucking fallen through the ground, right? Okay, start again. Ah, oh, dear me. When I got to the top, I pushed the stick to the left a little bit, so I think I came off the ledge. So whilst it's going up in the air, maybe I should hold the, the jump button down and leave go of the stick. Maybe I'll do that. Um, right. Yeah, make a note of that. Go on, train spotters. into the belly of the beast we go it's pity you couldn't summon up a, a sparrow in this like you could in destiny and just fucking just fucking bomb through like do you like my sound effects that sounds exactly like a sparrow does in destiny Yeah, I'm not the type of person who's going to edit videos and cut out the uh, 
fast forward and do all that kind of shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving you that much of my time. The fact you're actually fucking watching in the first place means there's something fucking wrong with you. This is to give you the, the full experience of what farming's all about. Time consuming, but you do get rewards. If you can manage to jump up and get there without falling off the fucking edge. Thank you for reminding me, mental person. Right. Come on. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'll have to do it step by step then. A little bit at a time. Here we go. Where's Thor Heard in her fucking Stannis stair lifts? That's what I want to know. Perhaps she's stuck in a bath. Has anyone actually thought about that? Or is she dead? I don't know. I don't really ke keep up with my uh, last of the summer wine people. To be honest, I've got no need to. I don't care. Maybe she is stuck in a bath. Maybe that thing failed. Didn't she advertise a bath thing? Perhaps she's stuck, stuck halfway up some stairs. Starving to death. Going, ooh, help me. All right. Um, yeah, I have been out in the sun all day today. So I'm probably going to be somewhat deranged. More than usual. All right. Sprint over here. And then we fall and land on the rocks. Right. Then we run through here. And then you go to the triangular pyramid thing up and over do 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 shooby do shooby do bitch hell mother Plonk. Forward, forward, forward. And here we go. Uh, how do I open this anti-clockwise then? I don't. That's why I only get crappy blue stuff. Right then. Um, oh, I'm beginning to wonder now whether or not that blue stuff... No, I, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not going to wonder at all. I, what I was thinking was the blue stuff might just be a variant in the different colour blues, but it's not because it's got the red right in, which you usually get from from bosses or from... Have I just found a quicker way up? Oh, I haven't even been paying attention to what I'm doing, so I don't know. Um, no, it's the, the, the ones with the light blue have got a red right into them, which I think you get from bosses or missions or something. Right. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again now. To summon up <coughs> Satan, Beelzebub, Belial, um, what or whatever he's called. I'm gonna do it anti-clockwise, starting with the center first, because I want to test the theory now that anti-clockwise will give you better stuff. It's not a theory. It's just me pissing about Satan, Satan. Praise hell, bacon. Right, nothing. Okay, there's a there's a pinky thing, but no red right in. They all seem to be the same shade of blue. That is beautiful. Fifty shades of blue. Right. Right. Wow. Well, that's kind of blown that theory out of the water. Oh no! Hang on, we haven't done the other chests because it was one of the outer chests that. Um, we found it in, wasn't it? And I did say that I would stop the video when we don't find a legendary. But I'm going to have to continue now. Open up. Come on, you fucker. Um, I'm going to have to continue. Oh, look at all this. Look at all that. Pop, 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 pop. Money, 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 money. Um, normal, normal, normal. They seem to be the same shade of blue. Right, there we are. 
So I don't think it makes any difference if you do it anti-clockwise and summon up the devil, or you do it clockwise and you summon up Shaking Stevens. It makes no difference whatsoever to your drops. Uh, I got nothing there, nothing that run, so I'm going to have to do it one more time. I'm going to do it clockwise, and if I don't get a legendary, it's end of video time. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to still carry on. I'm still going to carry on this evening, and I'll update my Twitter feed with anything I find and what have you. Um, feel free to care more than I do. But yes, one more go. Although saying that, I did say that I will stop when I don't get a legendary. But because I did the anti-clockwise, I've now got to do it clockwise. I wonder if bunny hopping does make a difference. You used to see bunny hopping in speed runs years ago. When people were doing uh, things like Quake and what have you. Because if you if you manage to jump at like the very moment you hit the ground, it didn't seem to have any sort of friction. It didn't seem to sort of slow you down. I think that's that was the whole concept of bunny hopping was that you and you can also strafe left and right whilst you whilst you were in the air. So this, this is all PC gaming now. It's not console gaming. So it was a lot easier to do it that way. But that's why a lot of the earlier games when they've got speed runs. Um, so even some of the Tomb Raider games speed runs, you get people jumping because it it got you quicker because you were kind of jumping forward quicker than you were actually running. It just looks a bit silly if you're trying to watch it in a video. Right, come on, up we go. Come on, that's it, that's it. Come on, up we go. Oh fuck that! I'll be there forever. Right, come on, 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 come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Come on, yay! Oh, piss. Right. Let's focus on which direction I need to go in. So I leave that and then we'll just keep jumping and jumping. Over and over we go. Up and up we go. It's a roundabout by here, isn't it? Somewhere, yeah. Right, and sprint across. So you get those two pinky stone things going underneath. And then you're lined up then to kind of run. So when you fall, you got the rock on your left-hand side. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. Through the rock, turn slightly to the left. Head towards the pointy rock. Up and over and down. Here we go, here we go, come on. Blue. Oh, that was another one as well, wall strafing. Used to jump against the wall and that, and it, you, could, you could kind of speed along. Obviously not in this game, it's not working, but wall strafing yeah i think there were entire maps made by the custom community on counter strike where you'd strafe against the wall and they would call them skiing maps because you'd literally be skiing around oh i've gone the wrong fucking way haven't i uh you'd be skiing around i'm sure you can look them up on the youtube get up Huh? <laughs> 
yeah going back to what i was talking about earlier yeah I, i'm not a youtuber as such i think it's it's idiotic to think that you're gonna get anywhere these days now unless you're doing something extra special or you've been doing it for a long time i think everybody and his dog wants to be a youtuber now and i certainly don't i use youtubers as like a scrapbook i'm gonna do, i'm gonna do the shaking stevens route now and go clockwise um I just use it as a, like a sort of uh, like a photo album of games and even I watch my own videos when I go back and go oh my god yeah I remember playing that and what have you so let's let's do clockwise um so when I was doing it anti-clockwise I was kind of raising the devil now I appear to be raising shaking Stevens uh behind the green door ah! isn't that how he sings something like that right that's all boxes done now and I don't believe there's an orange in sight. Oh, fuck. Hang on, I've left one out. Got to open it now. Stand back. No. No, 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 and no. A uh, load of money, load of money. Couple of blues. Whoa. Couple of blues, blues. They all that seem to be the same colour blue. Nothing seems to be like a lighter blue. So this then would be a bit of a crap run because there isn't there isn't even a single oh well, no there isn't even a single purple item. I think oh my god I think I might have offended somebody now by saying that train spotters smell. Wow. Uh, so what do I do? Right, I tell you what, I'm going to make one more run, one more run. I've done this the proper way now. Right, the Shaking Stevens lipstick powder and paint clockwise version. I'm going to do one more anti-clockwise just to see if it makes any difference whatsoever to my drops. Continue. Da -da -da. Right then. Same old, same old, same old. Tumty tum. I mean, I would say feel free to fast forward. I mean, it's up to you. I'm, I'm just going to ramble on. Oh my god, that, just, that looks like a bum. That was on the screen then. Bum cheeks in my face. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm under no illusions whatsoever that nobody actually watches these videos from beginning to end. Just skip to certain bits. Um, right then. Right then, right then, right then, right then, right then, Governor. Let's uh, let's do this again. Of course, it, if it, if this is going to be the last run, then it is going to be one that takes forever to do, isn't it? And I, I'm not going to manage it, and I'm. It's not going to work, and. Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. Snail's pace. Well, at least it worked, I guess. All right, let's turn around. Let's find the rocks. I need to be looking at them. Up we go. Up we go. Climbing a stairway to heaven. Oh, no. Sorry. We, we've got to... We've got to... We can't be all come by iron. Was it Shaking Stevens, was it, or something? Um... Right, that's as far as we can go and sprint towards there. Wait until those two purpley things are underneath there. And then run towards the wall and fall and land on the rocks here. Sprint through here. Run towards the pyramid or the Trianglia rock. And that's it. Chamber of the Lost Treasure. Oh, 
<sighs> See, when you're making a video, it would seem decidedly boring to keep doing this over and over and over. But when I do this over and over, I'm watching films, I'm watching TV shows. Nice. I'm not just kind of doing this with nothing else going on in the background. I mean, I'm making a video just to show you how easy it is to to get legendary items or weird blue ones. Obviously, you've got to, you know, summon up the devil and do things anti-clockwise to get it uh, to work properly. Tit balls. Right. God. Yeah, even I'm kind of craving some sort of, uh, you know, entertainment now. Instead of just doing this. And rambling. And this way. Oh, fucking biscuits. Right. Let's climb back up to that level then. Uh... Oh, piss in hell! Right. I'm getting slightly fucking furious now. Right. Jump sideways, jump up. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck off. What the, what the, what the fuck? What, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I did this earlier, didn't I? I ran all the way that way when I should have just gone there. Oh, I just realised. Am I climbing this pyramid anti-clockwise? Or am I climbing it? Well, I'm climbing it a mixture of both. So if I'm, if I'm climbing it a mixture of both... A mixture of both clockwise and anti-clockwise. Would that be shaking Satan then? Or Satan Stevens? That, something like that, isn't it? Right, what did I do it last time? I did it clockwise. So let's do it anti-clockwise now. Uh, Satan, Satan, praise her. Oh, it's a fucking orange item! There's an orange item! Fucking <laughs> orange! What's going on here? Homing Stormfront. Oh, that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. And smelly tank top wearing train spotters. Anti-clockwise is the way to go. Orange. Homing Stormfront. Right, I will look. I will look at that because I think I've already got one. And I will do a comparison as to which one is, is the one to keep. That's... Oh, another purple... Ah, second... Second wind health. Now then, I'll take it. I can't take it because it's full. Look at that. Right. Um, so let's let's look at the grenades again. Now I had a grenade, and it was called the homing stormfront. Electrocute damage. Have I got another one of them? No, I haven't. Well, I shall keep that one, and I must have picked it up before and just never used it. Um, but in order for me to pick up this Bandit Allegiance, why would I even keep something like that? Drop. I don't even know why I kept that. I don't even. I don't even care what kind of weapons I use. Um, right, let's have a look at the outside ones. Doing it backwards. Um, Satan Stevens. Oh, wow. And, and two chests that spew money at you. Uh, a couple of blues. Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing seems to be sort of... Uh, Sticking out as much that as I thought. No, no, no. It's all normal. It's all 
normally stuff on the outside but I, by doing it by doing it backwards by doing it anti-clockwise I did get I did get a legendary item didn't I right you know what's gonna happen now I'm gonna have to do it anti-clockwise again I'm, I'm gonna do it anti-clockwise again just for the sake of of seeing how this turns out because this is this is making me just turn into one of those weird people now who's going to start wearing certain socks on certain days and things like that let me just have a drink now <sighs> right yeah second wind i might keep something like that on me that kind of relic because sometimes i do get stuck um and but uh, it's it's kind of difficult really to explain unless you actually play the game but when you get damaged you get knocked to the ground and when you get injured to a certain degree and you, you lose your shield you get this you get knocked to the ground and then you have to kill something in order to survive if you kill something it's called second wind and you manage to bounce back to life fully vibrant as if you've had your ready break not weed because that's shit right but you're fucking ready break and you come back to life and you get a chance then to run away and flee and rebuild your shield and kill your enemies and stuff like that so having a relic um that increases that chance is a good idea over having a relic that does a boost for a certain bandit gun or something or other um really don't care right come on come on oh here we fucking go look at that get in right we're up quite high now we gotta go between those two and just oh fuck off piss flakes right the fuck happened there i spoke too soon didn't i oh here we fucking go right quit come on again again it's 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 because i criticized the um the kind of train spotters the ones who just sit down on their own in their basement while their mum makes them their tea how was the alphabet spaghetti by the way um what are you on now are you having a little bit of arctic roll that your mum's put in the microwave for 10 seconds so it's not too cold for your teeth probably isn't it yeah you still smell though have a fucking bath anyway um what was i on about oh do you know what i don't i don't even know i don't even know i've been out in the sun for too much today i really have I'm out in the sun and I'm kind of tired. Ramble the Wonder Horse. Something like that, isn't it? No. Here we go. Out of his gob. Or oh, is it his anus? No, it's his, it's his mouth, isn't it? Or am I being spewed the other side? Oh, okay. Right, come on, let's go. Come on! All oh, right, okay, that didn't kind of work. Let's just let's just take it easy, Cadbury's caramel. Let's right. Up and up and up and up and up and up we go. Uh, it's going to be about by your uh, that's the one right sprint 
get so that they go underneath. Um, where's it gone again? That's it. Sprint there so that you fall down and land there. Sprint through here. Take a left to the Trianglia rock. I'm getting a really strange feeling of deja vu here. Is anybody else? Um, right. Now then. I did it anti-clockwise last time. Right? Shaking Satan. Not shaking Stevens. So. So, would, would, shaking, should, would shaking Satan have released behind the red door? What with him? You know, that's that's what he would have to enter the fiery pits of hell, right? A red door, surely. Um, yeah, oh. that guns, crap. Don't want them. Don't care. So if I do this anti-clockwise, <laughs> if I can try and get up here now, anti-clockwise. Right, that goes and you can't you know I, I when I jump I sometimes push left or right to see if I can if I can travel upwards in the air and move in that direction to go up the next sort of level right well I can't I can't completely go anti-clockwise this way can I because you can't get past this fucking thing by you so that's stupid so I've got to go a mixture. Of course, I've got to do a mixture. It's got to be shaking Satan. It can't be shaking Stevens or just Satan. And I've fallen off. That's right. I fell off there before, didn't I? And you've got to go up this one and you've got to jump up here. And you can't go through here. Is that right? Can you duck down? No. So i got to go back. This is this is taking all my concentration now because I'm kind of lost. Oh, I've done it again! Fucking hell! It's either the third or fourth time I've climbed up there and I forget to climb up this way. Jesus, wet buckets of cheesy biscuits. Seriously, fucking hell! Right. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get out of that lazy bed. Right. Anti-clockwise. There's an old piano and it's playing hot behind the red door. Satan. Right. They all... They're all open. And there's just... Whoa. Blues. Normal blues. Um, okay. Uh, let's know that would, that would doing it that way would be clockwise. Oh, unless I do a mixture of both, one clockwise and one anti-clockwise. Oh, I'm not fucking doing this anymore. I've had enough. Right, let's just do this one for the last time before we go. Pop that open. Pop that open. Pop that open. Pop that open. Right, it doesn't look as if it's worked, which is which is good. I finally disproved the theory that Shaking Stevens is really Satan. And doing this clockwise or anti-clockwise does not make a difference because you're not guaranteed to get a rare drop or legendary drop, no matter which way you do it. That is beautiful. Um, let me just... Let me just double check the blues to make sure there isn't something that's got any red right in. Ah, class requirement assassin. That's not the kind of red right. Uh, the red whiting. What am I, Elmer Fudd? Um, red right. That's not the kind of red writing that I meant. Oh, that's a web. Um. Uh, 
And that's it. That's it for me. I've had enough now. This has done my fucking Sweden. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump to the ground. See if maybe I die. No. Okay. Um... Was there anything else worth showing you? No, there isn't. Nothing I can think of. That's about it. Uh, I've had my fun. I'm now going to watch some TV shows or some films or something and just carry on farming uh, over and over again. Um, have fun. Hope your alphabet spaghetti wasn't too hot. Hope your ice cream wasn't too cold. And if you are genuinely offended by the fact that you smell, then have a fucking bath. <laughs>